Hi guys, welcome to the Feed Cran channel. This is me, Felicia. Glad to have you. Today I am going to show you my foundation application, how I do it from start to finish. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I've already um, cleansed and moisturized my face using, of course, Mary Kay on uh, 3-in-1 time-wise. I'll leave the specifics of that product in the information box below. First thing that I do is, to, well rather let me back up, today I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Lumi uh, foundation. So for starters, the first thing that I will be doing is using the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. And I just take two pumps. I like the, I really like this because of the application. The, the application is a pump so it doesn't get really messy. And I just take my ring finger, oh, got it on my lip. Excuse me. And I just generously rub, blend it into my skin very generously. I even put a little bit over my um eyes my eyelids okay as you can see I do have some dark circles I do conceal a scar on my face so this is me in the natural okay the next thing that I will be doing is my brows I take a MAC 2 to 66 brush, looks like this is an angle brush, and I pick up some brown face powder, just like that, and I just tap a little bit on. I really don't have a problem filling them in, but this side is not as long as this side, so that's pretty much what I will be doing is extending the tail, so to speak, whoops, of my brow. And then I take what's left of the product and kind of comb it, roll, brush it, brush it through. And I do the same, just brushing a little bit of the product through the brow like so okay then I take a spoolie brush any type of spoolie will do and this is an elf spoolie brush and I just comb through what I've done like so the next thing that I'm going to do is to highlight under my brow and I use the Hard Candy, Hard Candy Glamouflage and the color is tan. I pick up this, I put a little bit of this product on the back of my hand and you literally need not even a half of a squeeze. looks like that and even that may be a little bit too much okay so I take a travel size concealer brush and it looks like this and this is by Essence of Beauty these brushes can be purchased at your local CVS this is where I got mine and I just take a little bit of the product and then I just kinda trace under the brow, do the same on top, you should have something that looks like that, do the same thing for the other uh, my, uh, for the other uh, eye I find that working with a travel size brush um, 
such as this one, it's, easy, it's easier for me to work with. And see, I still have a lot of the product left, so I'm just going to wipe it off with my towel. I do have a towel in my lap just in case you're wondering. And I just take whatever is left out and blend it like so. And this gives the brow a more defined look as if you just recently got them waxed or arched or whatever the method is that you are accustomed to doing, tweezed, threaded, that type of thing. So and then what I end up doing is I just take my ring finger and kind of blend it on down as such. Okay? Do the same for this side. Blending that product outward. Looks like I got a little bit more on this side than I do the other, which is okay. Just blending it on down. Then I just take my ring finger again and okay. And that's pretty much all I do for the brows. Now, as you can tell on camera, I, again, I have a scar, and what I, what I do for that is I use the MAC Studio um, Concealer in NC45, but I'm going to go ahead and lay the foundation down first, then I'm going to go back and conceal. That's just the way I do it. All right. This is the Lumi, um, the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. Um... I'm the color C6, which is in a cool undertone. Okay. Again, I do like the applicator on this product because it is a pump, so it does not tend to get really messy if you're squeezing from a tube. So what I like to do is I'll just take the back of my hand, and I'll go ahead and get maybe one, two good pumps. It looks like that. Then I take my MAC. Um, stippling brush and I just do like that then I go all over my face just like this then I start working the foundation into the skin with nice circular motions. Blending it down. Make sure you're blending it down under the chin towards the neck. Now I have a short cut so I need to really make sure it's blended around my hairline, the edges. And it is a nice buildable foundation, so it builds up um, relatively nice. So if you need to go back in, um, less is always best at first. It's easier to add than to take away, of course. So then what I do is I'll take what's left off my back of my hand and I go around my hairline like that. Want to make sure it's blended, blended in. Okay. Now I'm going to take just a small, very small additional pump, not even a full pump. And I like to, I have some redness around my nose. And I just work it in with my 
fingers. And really turning out nice. I like, 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 like it. Okay. Now that I've done that, I go in I go in with my Studio um, Concealer by MAC NC45 and I just pick it up with my fingers and I go in where the scar is A small one here and some darkness under my eyes yes I do okay and I just blend the product in with my finger And pat 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 there you go looks good so far it's really giving me a nice um, coverage I think and it doesn't feel like I have makeup on which is so important and it's so hot and you know summertime you don't want to have that extra feel of a cakey type feel on your face so lastly what I do is I take a powder puff like this and I pick up for for a setting powder the mineralized skinnish skinnish did I say Oops, sorry, Skin Finish Natural in Medium Deep from MAC. I can't believe I said that. And it looks like that. And I just pat, 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 pat this into the skin. Okay. Get around the eyes. All right. Well, that is all I pretty much do. And I'll just take a clean Kabuki. This is the uh, Real Techniques brush. Kabuki. I can't talk today for some reason. It's a really a neat Kabuki brush because you can, it, it opens up like that as well. So I just take the brush and boom, boom, boom. That's pretty much it. Then for, um, lastly, I go in with the Mary Kay brow gel just to set my um my eyebrows so they won't go all over the place if I can get it open all right and the applicator looks like this and I just sweep it across the brows like that Oop, I put a little bit too much on this side and you really don't need a lot and this will dry okay that's it that's my foundation routine using the L'Oreal Lumi my current favorite foundation thank you for watching um, my video please do take the time to rate the video offer me your comments tell me what you liked tell me what your routine is I would really love to hear from my subscribers and thank you so much for supporting my channel and I'll be talking to you in the next video bye take care